Welcome to Griffin, the classic Georgia small town. Founded by railroad owner General Lewis Lawrence Griffin, the town was born with transportation at its very heart. General Griffin saw the location as strategically positioned to become the gateway to the south, an ideal hub for north-south and east-west railroad lines, then transporting cotton. Events surrounding the Depression of 1843, however, caused those main lines to run instead through Terminus, Georgia, which became Atlanta. Although Griffin never became the booming metropolis that its founders envisioned, it did become an important railroad town while preserving its Old South charm, resulting in a town like no other south of Atlanta. The city of Griffin boasts a rich history in the Civil War, African American heritage, and its beautifully preserved historic downtown area, which is a setting of several Hollywood films. Griffin has also nurtured a wealth of talent, from a score of professional athletes to artists and actors, as well as its most historically famous native son, John Henry Doc Holliday. Doc was born here on Tinsley and uh, 9th Street on the intersection, on the northeast intersection of Tinsley and 9th. There's no doubt in my mind that Doc Holliday has put, put Griffin on the map. We have had visitors from 40 plus states and about 15 or 16 foreign countries, and that's on a routine basis. Yes, we do have a lot of people. Doc is a worldwide icon. He's not just here in Griffin and Spalding County. He's, he's worldwide. The office that my grandfather practiced in was the same office that Doc Holliday was in when he was here in Griffin in, in those years, in the late 1800s. So, and there was a rumor also, and some believe it, that there's an unmarked grave in the cemetery, and that unmarked grave, some folks feel, may be where they moved Doc Holliday to when he was moved from Linwood Springs, Colorado. And so, yeah, there's a rumor that Doc Holliday may be buried in my family plot. Griffin combines the convenience of a large city with the comfort and familiarity of a small town. Griffin's scenic neighborhoods and historic homes, parks and recreation facilities, and golf course, along with many shopping and dining options, make it both the perfect weekend destination and the ideal place to maintain the essential work-life balance of conducting business while raising a family. There are several large pavilions. There is um, a walking, walking trail, a, a large walking trail, um, a complete golf course um, with a, uh, there's a small lake on the property. Uh, there's the recently the city and the county along with um, a private organization did a skate park. When my kids were growing up, I didn't miss any baseball games, I didn't miss any soccer games, I didn't miss any basketball games. I could leave my office and be at any of those events within 10 minutes, uh, which I could not have done anywhere else. I couldn't have done it in Atlanta. So, you know, being a part of the community and being there with my children growing up meant a great deal to me. I knew that I, I didn't want to be in a big city. Um, I wanted to be in a community that uh, I could be there with my kids when they grew up. Uh, my family could feel safe. We knew our neighbors. Uh, we knew the, the leaders in the community. If we had issues, we knew how to get things resolved. Uh, I didn't want to be just a number, and I also wanted to know my patients. I mean, a good community itself, Griffin, has all those things that I think that a young couple will be looking for, especially for someone that ready to start a family. Griffin is a full-service community with its own utility services, business assistance programs, development and tax incentives, and an award-winning recycling program. With creative planning underway, Griffin is quickly becoming a model for environmentally sound green practices in Georgia. Griffin is proud to be a business-friendly community. Angelos is a very authentic place. All my recipes, I uh, started working with them since 1965. Public-wise, yes, the people are excellent. It's not the richest town I've ever seen, 
but they got the heart of a lion. They all welcome you and they really uh, let you know how well you're doing and uh, really it's amazing. But uh, Griffin got uh, something different that he makes you stay here and work in here. Uh, those places are nice to visit, but it's like the fish. After the third day, they sting. You want to get out of there because they get expensive. Everybody gets, uh, you know, kind of... It's different. Uh, fish over here, you like to continue to stay, do business, make a living, make friends, and uh, it's excellent. The children of the Hawaiian Islands parents that I have served before, I am serving them now. My name is Dawn Delaire Brooker and I started a business seven years ago in my home and five years ago we moved the build of the business to Griffin. I think Griffin is a wonderful place to have a business. Um, it's a, an affordable place, it's got a great support system, the city's very willing, they're very much your ally. Um, they've been a big support for my, for not only me personally, but also for my business. Um, I started with a little goldfish in a bag soap, which is still the most popular item that we sell. Um, along the way, it's been quite a journey. Um, I ended up a few years ago being selected as the 2008 Georgia Small Business Person of the Year. My name is Garrett Massey. I'm House Rolling Website Design and Development. We're a full service web development company um, here in Griffith, Georgia. Our clients really range um, all different types, uh, all different sectors, um, from government, uh, the military, to large Fortune 500 companies such as United Healthcare and the Home Depot, as well as numerous small uh, businesses and organizations here locally. Business-wise, everybody's been great um, from working with the uh, city officials here. Um, any type of permits, anything we've ever had to get, we've had a real easy time uh, acquiring. Um, local business owners have been really supportive of our efforts um, and growing up here has helped out a lot as well. We specialize in pizzas, stone oven baked pizzas, we hand toss all of our dough, we make our own sauce here fresh daily. People found out about us through word of mouth so it's been really, business has been really well. Our community was was very supportive of our success. This is our going into our fourth year of business and with minimal advertising. So with a town um, of this size and not to and to have that sort of support is just phenomenal. Uh, my name is Daoud I Amin mean, and uh, lifelong resident here in Spalding County. I have a few businesses that I operate here in Griffin. It's just a unique place for especially homegrown businesses more so than just the typical franchises. Griffin is home to undergraduate and graduate programs at the University of Georgia Griffin campus and serves as the main campus for Southern Crescent Technical College. The Griffin Spalding County School System prepares our community's children to be leaders in the workforce through its rigorous standards and innovative programs. Griffin is an excellent place to come to study. To be quite truthful, it's probably one of the hidden secrets in the state of Georgia. Think about it from this perspective. You're able to bring a student to our community. They can start in pre-K, which is offered across the state of Georgia, go through the 12th grade, graduate. In this area, they're then able to go to several colleges, either Gordon down in Barnesville. They can go to uh, Clayton State that's not that far away. But then they can come back and go to the Griffin UGA Griffin campus. Uh, which is an excellent opportunity. Or they can go to Griffin Technical College, soon to be the uh, Southern Crescent Technical College. But either way, a child would be able to start from pre-K and go all the way through postgraduate. An excellent opportunity. I would recommend our uh, community to others uh, for several reasons. It's a hometown feel, and you're able to come here and be able to able to identify not only with uh, the people in your local neighborhood, but the uh, entire community. Again, I think it's an excellent opportunity to find how different parts of your life can connect. If you want to find churches, if you want to find um, clubs and uh, extracurricular activities, they're here. And again, I think the educational opportunities are excellent. The student that comes here gets the best quality education that's possible. And so that, that's a commitment that we all make. And uh, for that reason, and for no other reason, 
a student should think about the University of Georgia Griffin campus, particularly if they're in this region. It's, it's a great place to come. Uh, there's multiple opportunities here for our students to continue their education, not only here at uh, Griffin Tech, but uh, over across the street at the University of Georgia, uh, here in the Griffin campus. Multiple opportunities for students to continue uh, their education beyond high school and uh, down the uh, road down at Gordon College. And this community has helped me grow uh, significantly, and uh, for that I'm uh, deeply, deeply grateful. The future is bright for Griffin. Educational opportunities with two growing college campuses, the prospect for key transportation solutions like passenger rail, unparalleled citizenship, and a thriving business-friendly community all point to Griffin as Georgia's favorite hometown. i